Now, so today's trip, we are going to be targeting yellow perch. Um, what we are going to be doing is just uh, trying to mark deeper holes that have structure like fallen trees and other things like that. And once we mark a, a deep enough hole to fish, we're going to set the anchor just on the outskirts of it and kind of cast our suspended jig and our uh, twister tail and just try and cover as much ground as we possibly can. So stay tuned and paddle into the first spot. Now we are drifting a uh, decent speed where I can actually throw two lines out at once. Right now I have the bobber straight out front. Um, in fact, I already got a fish. Dude, as soon as I... That's why I guess you should probably only keep one rod in the water. As soon as I casted that, literally went under. Don't know what we have. Kind of feels uh, like a crappie. But this time of year, you never know what it's going to be. No, oh, dude, jumbo. Jumbo yellow. Look at that. First freaking uh, cast of the day, we get a jumbo. I guess it's one of those, you know, fish one rod type things. This guy absolutely inhaled this. Now, if we were keeping fish, man, this would be a perfect pan frying size. But uh, unfortunately today, we're letting these guys live. But man, that is a jumbo South Jersey perch right there, man. Look at that. The color on their fins are just so cool. So I just pitched out the jig to my right. We've got our float rod right in front of us but the floats out to our right as well the winds kind of shifting slightly um all i'm gonna do with the little jig is just kind of bounce it off the bottom until we feel a bite a couple jigs here and there and then let it sit I, that little bit of motion of that tail flipping i think is enough to trigger a bite Oop, something just messed with it oh fish on let's go Ooh, another yellow. Another yellow perch, except for this guy is a absolute dink. But uh, we cannot complain, man. It's uh, two beautiful South Jersey yellow perch. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, today, it's kind of like a finicky hit. I'm not casting very far. I want to say I'm going maybe 10 yards to my right. And all I'm doing is just slowly... Uh, jigging it back and it's almost the most you know insignificant hit you could ever imagine it just kind of you could feel like a little bit of tension on the back like almost like they grab it but they're not sure if they really want it completely um, it's the only way I could really describe it but does seem like there are fish tight to the bottom. My guess is they have to be yellow perch. Um, most of the crappie we've been seeing have been suspended up, but it's not to say that you, you know there's no crappie on the bottom because we had a few the other day. You know, fishing our suspended jig, just trying to reel in a little bit of that slack. There we go. Now, the water temperature has definitely been fluctuating the last few days, but we've been having some weird weather. We've had, you know, extreme cold. Oh, look at that. Just jig that guy up right under the boat. Another one. Like I said, man, like these guys are not very big, but I'll tell you what, they are very aggressive. Drop it back down. I'm going to try just dropping straight down because it seems like most of the fish we've been catching actually have been right beneath us. We'll see if that... uh actually turns into something but yeah I mean definitely some small fish tight to the bottom you could always tell looking at the sonar it is neat though to see how these fish school up you know oh there we go literally right under the freaking boat man this feels like a bigger one has a weird head shake though, man. I'll tell you what. 
Oh man, oh man. Look at this freaking hog, man. Woo wee. That is a jumbo South Jersey yellow perch, man. On the freaking split, uh, the swim bait. Now what's crazy is it almost looks like something here. Hold on, let me uh, flip this guy around. Ooh, try and do the least amount of damage. If you look under his belly, it looks like something tried biting him uh, earlier today or recently because there's a little bit of a wound right there. My guess would be a chain pickerel. Um, but man, that is what we are talking about, man. Beautiful South Jersey yellow perch, man. Look at that. Let's go. Just jigged up another yellow perch right under the boat seems like pink's the color today man another beautiful yellow perch little guy but I, I noticed there was something uh something very tight to the bottom typically um that has been yellow perch honestly uh the crappie seem to be just slightly off uh off the bottom, you know, suspended up. Um, telltale sign is you start to see these decent size, you know, schools of fish, and it almost looks like a cloud, you know, a cloud. Of All right, so we're just working our little twister tail to the right, keeping an eye on the jig ahead of us. Um, started out quick, man. First cast with the suspended jig, we had that uh, big size yellow perch and then recently the only uh, fish we've gotten have been on the twister tail that we're slowly dragging on the bottom I'll tell you what though these fish are pretty aggressive because you know they're not very big I mean when I'm taking the hook out of their mouth the entire bait pretty much the size of their mouth Got him, got him on that jig. I felt something funny on it. Another yellow. Beautiful yellow perch, man. We're, we're just jigging them up right now. And that guy, it's a funny hit. We're gonna let this bad boy go, let him go, let him grow. But I mean, that was a beautiful uh, yellow perch, man. It's funny when you get the bigger ones, they do have like a head shake. You know, the smaller ones, you kind of get that, like, dead fish, you know, dead weight kind of pool. Like, you, you feel a little bit of a head shake, but you know that they're so small that, you know, you really can't, they really can't give you much of a, a, a fight compared to the big ones. But, uh, you know, the two techniques we've been uh, using have been working well, which were vertically jigging and then just casting and slow jig retrieve. Um, honestly... If you're going to anchor and you're anchored on top of fish, my suggestion would be that vertical jig. Um, if you're doing what we're doing, which we're anchored off of the spot, um, we're kind of casting to it and working it back towards us. Now there is fish uh, moving underneath the boat every once in a while. So if we do see fish underneath the boat, we're just going to drop it straight down and jig. But uh, if we're not seeing much under the boat, that's when we're kind of casting to the hole and trying to work it back to us. Um, like I've said uh, earlier today, you want to make sure you're not overworking your bait because um, that'll, you know, slow your production down. These fish are kind of lethargic. The water's in the 30s. Uh, every fish that I've been taking off the hook has been like ice cold, man. Ooh. Oh, we just had a hit and I missed it. Uh, but the nice thing about you know jigging is I could drop it right back to where it was and and hopefully you know what what I've been noticing right now with these fish is it's almost like the school mentality when they see one attack it it's almost like they're competitive like feeding you know fighting for food so you know if you get a hit and you miss it like I just did drop it back down and just wait drop it back down <laughs> Now all I'm doing is letting it hit the bottom and then jigging. Oh, son, that's a bigger fish. Literally, as soon as that hit bottom, I don't know what this is, but it's definitely bigger. Oh, son. Damn. 
we got ourselves perchzilla look at that guy man that's an absolute jumbo freaking slob yellow perch man look at that freaking that's a good dinner size yellow perch but we're gonna let them live but man look at those colors absolutely beautiful all right guys unfortunately we've ran out of sunlight uh time to call it quits i hope you enjoyed today's video as always if you're not a subscriber to the channel click that subscribe button down below um leave a comment let me know what you thought have a great night guys